cutting machines are precision instruments. This video will help you learn how to properly care for your Silhouette cutting machine. Alternate videos are also available on properly maintaining replaceable components of your machine, such as blades, cutting mats, and the machine's cutting strip. When not in use, the machine lid should always be closed. We also recommend you use a dust cover to help protect your machine when it is not in use, especially in areas of high dust collection. If the machine is not going to be used for an extended period of time, the power cord should be unplugged from the power source. Always use the cords that were originally received with the machine. You may want to label your cords when stored away from the machine so that the correct cords can always be easily identified and used. When removing the USB cord or power cord from the machine, always grip the cord firmly at the point of connection where the cord meets the machine and pull directly away. Never disconnect cords by tugging from a midsection of the cord or a portion of the cord that is farther away from the machine. When reconnecting cords, make sure you are aligning the cords properly as you insert them into the machine. Before moving your machine from one place to another, make sure that the machine is powered off, all blades or tools are removed from the tool carriages, the tool carriage is pushed to one side of the machine, and the cords are fully removed from both the power source and the machine. If you are moving the machine from one room to another in your home, you can of course simply pick up the machine and carry it to its destination. As you pick up the machine, be sure to grip it evenly on both sides and carry it right side up. As you place the machine in its new location, be sure to allow for enough clearance in front of and behind the machine for the cutting mat or materials to pass through without obstruction. If you are transporting the machine outside of your home, we recommend using a padded tote to carry the machine around safely. To remove dust, use a dry cloth to wipe down the outside of the machine. A can of compressed air is recommended to remove dust from the inside visible parts of the machine. You can power off the machine and manually push the tool carriage over to the right or left in order to remove dust from each side of the machine as needed. If the machine requires cleaning, you may wipe the machine's surfaces with a lightly damp cloth that is mixed with a few drops of dishwashing soap. The soap applied should not be in excess and lathery. You may gently wipe areas of the machine that are easily accessible as needed. Do not use degreasing agents such as WD-40 or other stringent cleaning agents to clean your machine. Do not disassemble the machine to clean internal parts. If you are encountering issues with the machine properly finding registration marks during print and cut jobs, you may need to inspect and clean the optic sensor. The optic sensor is located under the tool carriage here. As needed, inspect the sensor for any debris covering the eye. If there are any materials you can see under the carriage, you can remove them with tweezers or by sliding a small square of rigid cardstock under the carriage to sweep out any materials that may be stuck. Do not attempt to clean the optic sensor with liquid or wipe it with a cloth, as such actions can scratch the optic sensor or otherwise cause damage. If your cuts appear to be misaligned, while this may represent other issues, you can do the following to reset the motor positioning. Power off the machine and unplug it. Manually push the motor carriage all the way to the right-hand side of the machine until it stops. 
manually push the motor carriage all the way to the left hand side of the machine until it stops. Repeat the action to push side to side once more. With the motor carriage ending at the left hand side of the machine, plug the machine in and power the machine back on. Though such should not generally be necessary, if you have a Cameo model and your machine has been rigorously moved around, such as during transport from place to place, you may wish to inspect the following points on the machine. The first point is the screw found here. You may take a Phillips head screwdriver and gently tighten this screw as needed. The second point is found here. You may likewise gently tighten this screw as needed. Finally, make sure the blade carriage covering is firmly snapped in place. Always use Genuine Silhouette Blades, other machine tools, and cutting mats. Silhouette cutting machines are precision instruments. Alternate blades, machine tools, and cutting mats that claim to work with the Silhouette machine may not be properly sized or calibrated to the exact necessary specifications. The use of non-genuine silhouette components can cause serious damage to the machine, either immediately or over time, and can permanently impair further proper machine operation. Issues resulting from the use of non-genuine silhouette machine components cannot be covered under the machine's warranty. Also, as various maintenance actions are taken, please remember that disassembling the machine is strongly discouraged. Disassembling the machine can cause damage and will void the machine's warranty. Be sure to check out our other maintenance videos.